Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren. Today I'm doing a first 24 hours in my sorority house. Right now I'm currently not in my sorority house, I'm in the parking deck. Here is Pi Fi right here. It is right next to the parking deck, which is so, so nice. Right now I'm heading out to go to Walgreens and Target and a couple more places. Oh my goodness, it is so bright outside. Just to do some running around that I needed to do that I didn't get done yesterday and stuff that I keep forgetting to buy. So in the parking deck, I parked on the highest spot and look, you can see Bryant Denny. Isn't that so beautiful from this parking deck? All right, I got my photo order. It is just pictures of Rachel and I, which you'll be seeing a little bit later whenever we put them on our door. It's like a little bulletin board outside. You'll be able to tell whenever we decorate it um, tonight, which we will. I am now going, I think, probably to Target next. And then we have to go to Hobby Lobby and then we're going to be back. Okay, so our next stop is Target. I'm getting Dr. Pepper in shower shoes, like flip flops basically. But one of the girls that live in Pi Fi say that Target actually has shower shoes that have like holes in the bottom of them so that they kind of drain. I don't really know, but that's where we're walking in right now. Let's go get me some caffeine. Still super hot outside, just got everything I needed at Target. Um, those shower shoes, if you're looking for them, if you're watching this video, I'm sure you're probably not looking for them, but if you are, they're in the bath department. Let's go to Hobby Lobby and then back to Pi Fi. It was a little bit of a drive. I'm pretty sure this is in Northport, which is the city like next to Tuscaloosa. So it took about 15 minutes to get here, but we were walking in trying to find a wooden arrow. Hobby Lobby honestly just makes me so, so happy. Like everything in Hobby Lobby is just like so me. This is not exactly what I was looking for. I was looking for a wooden arrow that I could actually write on, but I found this chalkboard thing that I can hang with it. So I think it's gonna work. Okie dokie, I'm on my way back to Pi Fi. I got everything that I needed to get. Thank goodness I've been stressing out every single time I go out. I keep forgetting a couple of things. It's still so, so hot out here. I don't know what I'm even doing. We have made it with all of our goodies. We have made it to the Pi Fi house. We are walking in. Okay, so this is the bulletin board and we put this contact paper on it like we have in our room. And so we're going to be putting the plaque, the arrow, and the pictures if it all fits. Saw you dancing on the frame on my phone the other day And ever since I've been in love, you've been all on my brain I can never get enough, it's so hard to explain Is it the way that you move and sway into the Okay, so me and Rachel just got done eating dinner downstairs. We ate on the patio with some friends. And so now I'm going to show you what I did to our bulletin board outside. So this is the finished product. I think it turned out really, really cute. We just have these three pictures of us and then these like gold little hearts that I used on my bulletin board with this wooden arrow. And then this is chalkboard and I just wrote on there with chalk pen. But I think it looks really cute and I think it kind of is like cohesive for whenever you walk in a room. Da da da! We are here. If you want to see my move in vlog, you can definitely check that out. It is live on my channel. A room tour is coming soon to you on my channel, I'm hoping by the end of August. Stay tuned for that. But right now, I'm just going to get ready for our floor meeting. We have one tonight just to kind of go over what the semester holds for us and everything that like has changed thanks to COVID. <laughs> I'm back from the meeting and I also hopped in the shower. I was feeling very, very gross and I put on my tan earlier today, so I really needed to rinse that off. I always feel so so much better whenever I get out of the shower and I put my lotion on and like my face routine and everything but I have a video to edit tonight our rush work week starts tomorrow and it's all virtual but I'm probably about to crawl in bed currently in bed I grabbed my pink cranberry juice then I grabbed some Chex Mix for my nightly snack and I'm just here about to watch some Hulu I'm not sure what I'm going to watch yet hello good morning so sorry I didn't like kind of transition into this from last night just telling you guys like good night but I started feeling so so sick I don't know why it happened it happened all of a sudden and I was really planning on doing that Q&A with Rachel but Rachel I was talking to her about the Q&A she's like yeah we can do it and right when that happened I was like 
oh my gosh, I feel so sick. So it was like an uphill battle. I took some medicine and I started feeling better, but by that time I was so, so tired that I didn't want to do the Q&A, so we're just gonna do it today. Right now I'm uploading some pictures to Google Photos. That's where I store all of my pictures from brand deals and everything. Um, It's easy just to get them on my phone in a snap if I need them. And then I'm also trying to plan out my Instagram picture for today before 10 a.m. And then I have work week starting at I think like 11 or 11.30. I want to say but yeah so sorry about last night just honestly felt so so sick some nights it just happens that way well rachel and i just got done with our work session like our little work week session for the day so we're about to go down and get some lunch because it ended early it was supposed to last until 1 30 and it lasted until 12 11 so we're all good we're gonna get changed and go downstairs eat lunch with marie so Rachel wanted to get some pictures taken in front of Pi Fi and on the balcony. So we are getting ready for that. I threw my hair up in braids because I didn't want to like curl it or anything. Probably gonna throw on a hat though because it's not gonna look cute. Buttons are coming out of my ottoman. That seems unfortunate. Okay, so we're back. Oh, coming. <laughs> So we asked some questions on my Instagram that you guys wanted to know to get to know Rachel. Hi. So I'm going to be pulling up the questions. Rachel, do you want to let them know anything about yourself? I'm Rachel. I'm Lauren's roommate. Okay, so what are you majoring in? I'm a biology major on the pre-vet track currently, so that's what I'm majoring in. So to take care of all of the doggies, All the cats. doggies and the kitties, so. Okay, so where are you from? I am from South Lake, Texas. It's in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Did you plan to be roommates or did your sorority assign y'all together? <laughs> So surprisingly, we chose each other. <laughs> yes, we definitely chose each other. You I'm, got to pick throughout the roommate selection process. You got to put a roommate preference, but everyone gets their preference because no one really. Yeah, once you have a them. set roommate, no one really is going to like fight for that yeah. person. Like you basically already like discuss it before you move in. Do other sorority house rooms look like Pi Fi's? No. Some of them look similar. Some of the, a lot of the newer ones I feel like kind of have the same layout-ish, but a, some of them like our decorate or our walls are all white and everything. Some yeah. have like brown furniture, but they all have like the beds and yeah. like the vanity and like most have a desk and a closet, but. Yeah, I think it just depends. A lot of the newer ones do, or the newer renovated ones. Mm -hmm. How did you meet? <laughs> okay, so fun facts about <laughs> Rachel and I. I saw her during Rush, and I honestly didn't give her a second thought. I thought she was a very mean girl. Like, you reminded me of Regina George off of Mean Girls. And I was like, oh my gosh, that girl is so mean. It was just like the way that she walked and like how she held herself because and like talked I walk to others. Because I mean. You do. You <laughs> and I was just like, oh my gosh. Like I would see her every single day. She would be walking at 8 a.m. every day. And I saw her on bid day and I was like, <laughs> she went pie fi Wow. I mean, I love you now, wow. but it was just like, I didn't know you, so my first impression of you was like not good at all. Didn't know who you were till I talked to you that one day. What's your favorite thing about each other? I think I like the way, your your view on the world. I feel like, cause you, <laughs> that sounded like so like much. That was so good. But like, you're always just like really happy and you just like think like, oh, that's so cute and like stuff like that. I just, you just have right, like, sure. you have a happy view on things. I feel like how, you're pretty, you're very humble for, you know, this YouTube thing. <laughs> I would be like, <laughs> it'd be getting to my head. But yeah, and you don't like, you like do so many cool things. Like you have like a super high GPA. She's mega smart. Um, so we love those smart <laughs> girls. And like you, you do so much work. You're a really hard worker. But like you don't like talk about that. You're not like, oh, I'm smart. I'm a YouTuber. Oh blah blah God. blah. You're just like you do it. And like, I, I love know. you so. <laughs> that was so sweet. I really love your personality. Oh, like, thank you. We always joke like she's really quirky and like funny but she really is and it's really one of a kind people's personalities can be easily taken away from them when people kind of like critique their personality or say like they're too much or like you know what i mean like yeah. they don't fit a certain mold that they want them to and you never have let anyone do that to you you've always been like i love cats i'm going to bring my cat sheets 
I and do I'm, love cats. Like you're just like very confident in yourself. Like you like exude like confidence and it's just really great to be around so you. So sweet, thank you. I like that question. What's your favorite college snack? This isn't really necessarily a college snack, but it's always been my favorite snack. I like popcorn and hot chocolate, but together. Because you get you get you get the salty and you get the sweet. Okay. And it's like perfect at night because I feel cozy. I'm like drinking hot chocolate and then popcorn like fills you up. I would want to try that during Christmas time. Or like yeah. fall. Why did you choose Pi Fi? Consistently every round throughout Rush. I just had like the most genuine conversations and I felt the most connection towards Pi Fi and it was also the house I was looking forward to like going back the most like it was always the first one unless I'm like did I get Pi Fi back we actually prepped the same house as well so it's really yeah, it's really <laughs> funny to know like whenever we did meet we talked about like who did you prep at least at the University of Alabama you have two houses that's the last round that you have is preference round did you purposely pick 226 meaning it being Gracie O'Connor's old room no I've been getting so many DMs about this and she's like why do so many people know her number yeah I didn't know what room she lived in no so basically whenever it came time to pick our rooms she wanted the second floor like that was her preference that yeah. she wanted because most of our friends were on the second floor they were planning on it so I wanted to be on that floor mm -hmm. and she wanted the layout which I wanted this layout too I love this layout where our beds aren't facing each other yeah so there's a layout like this where like the bed is right here and then right here <laughs> but then there's another one where one bed would be right here and then the other bed would be directly across from it so mm -hmm. you'd be looking at each other sleeping which really wasn't the yeah. vibe for me so whenever it came time to pick this literally was the last it was the last room one on this on floor. floor and I was like okay so we have to get it like <laughs> this is the only option because I really didn't want to be on the third floor either how tall are you okay <laughs> I'm five seven and I'm five feet <laughs> So I'm seven inches taller than yes, her. Yes, our height difference is really hard to coordinate in photos. Okay, so our last question is, why did you choose Alabama? I chose Alabama for a couple reasons. Um, one, I kind of wanted to get, I love Texas, great state, but I kind of wanted to get out of Texas um, for college at least. I might move back there, but I kind of wanted to be a little bit farther away. I didn't want to be like right up, you know, an hour away from home. And I toured Alabama and I absolutely adored it. Um, my parents both went to University of Tennessee and my brother goes there now. Anyways, I'm pretty sure that was like a full 24 hours that I had vlogged. Pretty much, except yeah. when I got sick last night. That was torture. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for watching our first 24 hours in our sorority house. If this can even be counted as that. But it's like half like meet you. So I feel like it counts. Yeah, it counts. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to join the family, you can click that subscribe button also. I love you guys so much and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye! Bye! <laughs>